Now from Berlin to Istanbul, a young Turkish composer has turned the city's sonic landscape into a symphony. So what does a metropolis actually sound like? A malach suspended between chaos and beauty. That's how Mehmed Erhan Tanman describes Istanbul, the city of his birth. He's turned its unique sound environment into a musical score. I came up with the idea because this insane traffic is everyday life for me. My drive to the university takes 15 minutes, if I'm lucky. But if traffic's bad, it can take two hours. Istanbul is always wired, and it's unbelievably loud. That's a challenge for me as a composer, because what you really need is silence, so you can fill it with music. confusion of ragged, bombastic tones. That's how Istanbul sounds in Tanman's composition, Traffic. The 23-year-old wrote this contemporary piece especially for the Beethoven Festival in Bonn. It's his first big opportunity to make an impression on the international stage. A youth orchestra of about 100 young musicians from all over Turkey is rehearsing the piece. I know exactly how it's supposed to sound. For them, it's initially sheet music. That's why I'm here, to convey to them a feeling for what's between the notes. Tanman interacts with the musicians as an equal. He's the same age as most of them and friends with many. In the breaks, the young musicians enjoy a bit of jazz improvisation. They're all totally dedicated and lucky. Hundreds of music students apply to join the youth orchestra each year, but only the best are accepted. For me, as a young musician, this is a unique opportunity to develop and improve. Many Turks can't relate to Western classical music. That's why most people in Turkey don't take us seriously. My family listens only to Turkish music. I'm the first to have any contact at all with Western classical music. No wonder. It wasn't until 1930, after Mustafa Kemal Atatürk founded the Turkish Republic, that the country's first music college is opened. Atatürk wanted to modernize the country and make it more Western. Conductor Cem Manzur says things like that take time. Five years ago, he founded the Turkish Youth Orchestra. Here, young Anatolians, Kurds and Circassians all make music together. In Turkey, we have huge social and cultural and ethnic differences. And classical music can help bridge them. Because in an orchestra, you have to open yourself up to the other person and listen to him. Can a Turk make a living with classical music? Mehmed Erhan Tanman comes from a musical family. His father is a piano teacher, and his brother, too, is a composer. But love for music can be crushed by the pressure of reality. There is little public support and few fellowships for young musicians in Turkey. You have little chance to give concerts and get into a routine. Positions in major symphony orchestras are occupied for life, so one opens up only every 10 or 15 years. If you're a pianist, you earn your money playing weddings, or you take up a different profession. But Tanman is uncompromising. He wants to make it to Europe and study composition. And he'd like to correct some prejudices and misconceptions. I've had Westerners come up to me and ask, how do you learn to read music? Do you have classical composers in Turkey? Well, your jaw drops and you get angry. But it also motivates you to improve, which is why we want to show what we can do. And in fact, they can do quite a lot. Tanman and the Turkish Youth Orchestra will soon travel from the Bosporus to the Rhine for the Beethoven Festival. 
where they're confident they'll be able to capture the hearts of a European audience.